Senators, uh, Town of Oyster Bay, I'm the town supervisor. We're joined by our councilman, Tom Hand, right here. We are thrilled to introduce another great business to this fabulous community. Farmingdale is unique. It's the template for the rest of the state. They're doing fabulous things here, and we know you'll be both a nourishing and a satisfying addition. <laughs> I'd like to next introduce the man who puts Farmingdale on the map. He's a great friend. He does an amazing job. Our Mayor, Ralph Extra. Thank you. Thank you. Look, be, be, you guys are great. I know you're going to do well. I'm the guy that likes the extra jalapenos. <laughs> yeah, little birdie told me you little, and your son are making an awful lot of trips to Chitties. <laughs> yeah, honest, it's the Thanksgiving turkey left over. But uh, welcome again, and uh, you're going to do well. You're going to do well here. You'll thrive like the rest of our businesses. And we have uh, others here. Go ahead. Yes, uh, we're very lucky to be represented by two state senators and two assembly members in the greater Farmingdale area, but this spot is uh, specifically represented by a man who works very hard, does quite a bit for us in Farmingdale. He's an elected official, is extraordinaire, and like me, he likes a nice sandwich from time to time. <laughs> New York State Assemblyman Michael Montesano. Says, I know you'll do very well here. Farmingdale just exploded in the last several years with the efforts of the mayor and his administration. The Chamber of Commerce doing such a phenomenal job of promoting the businesses locally and uh, all of the people we have moving into the area. So best of luck to you. Thank, thank, thank you, you so much. Good. Thank you. Also representing us in, the, in New York State in Albany, as I said, everybody wants to represent Farmingdale. He's <laughs> someone who doesn't represent this very spot, but I'm sure he's chomping at the bit and he wants to. I don't know if he eats chili cheese, ste or cheese steaks with that waistline, but he represents us very well. Brand new minted state assemblyman, Michael LaPetri. Yeah! And he's a tailor. I am a, I am born here, South Farmingdale resident, my entire life. Uh, recently moved, however, but I still represent a portion of Farmingdale. Uh, gentlemen, it's a real pleasure to be able to present to you Citation now. Now, I know Michael Montesano has this area. I know I'm in stepping into his territory. I'm happy, very happy and proud to be able to work alongside Mike, the mayor, and the supervisor, as well as our senators, to make sure that you and your business thrives here in Farmingdale. I'm sure it will. And I love the history of Chitty's. Chitty, yourself, buddy, I look forward to being your supporter and coming here and frequenting this place often. So thank you guys. Yeah. Thank you very much. Everybody wants to represent Farmingdale, two state assembly members and two senators. This very spot, I believe, is, is the uh, senatorial district of Senator Kevin Thomas, and representing him is Kevin. Yes. <laughs> I'm not Senator Thomas. My name is Kevin Boone. I'm one of the community liaisons. Kevin. Uh, Senator Thomas could not be here. It gives us regards. And we at his office, we love cheesesteaks. We're definitely going to make. We're definitely going to make it down here to Chitty's to uh, enjoy. And I love uh, cheesesteaks, especially with the uh, what's that, Parmesan cheese and uh, cheese whiz. Cheese whiz. We will. We will definitely be coming here and partaking in, in uh, bringing our, our you know our constituents here to um, come and. Uh, Eat your lovely uh, cheesesteaks. Oh, and I look forward to uh, you your business here with the. Uh, thank you very Kevin. much, Kevin. Thank you. Thank you. Also among the newer state senators representing Long Island is Senator Brooks, and representing Senator Brooks so aptly is our new great friend Joni. Hi, how are you? I'll keep this short because I'm hungry. <laughs> We all look forward to seeing you off, and congratulations and all the best of luck. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Just as there are two state assembly members and two state senators, there are two Nassau County legislators that both love Farmingdale. They've been with us for years, they are part of everything we do here, and they're certainly a tremendous part of the success of this community that is the template on the map for downtowns across our state. We're very lucky to have both of them, and leading off is Nassau County legislator Rose Walker. Yay. Yay, Rose! Thank you, Thank you, Thank you. Uh, I 
actually live in Hicksville, represent this area of Farmingdale, and I share it with legislator James Kennedy. Uh, I could tell you how, how honored I am to be here, how excited we are for you to be here. And we're doing a lot of work in Hicksville, and uh, maybe you'll even think of having another. <laughs> uh, but I tell everyone in Hicksville, come to Farmington, see what they've done, see how they've grown, look at their businesses, look at what's here. We can have the same there in Hicksville. So just congratulate you so much. Uh, wonderful, wonderful to have you here. We spend a lot of time in Farmingdale eating at the many establishments here. Obviously, you see I eat plenty. So uh, we will be very, very excited to come here to the city. So good luck. We wish you the very best. And here is uh, Legislator James Kennedy. Well, welcome to Farmingdale, guys. This is, you know, it is absolutely fantastic. This area, like everyone has said before me, has really just it has exploded over the last uh, several years and it is a great place to be i am looking forward to coming down and having some cheese steaks myself um come here with my uh, wife and my two kids um often enough and we're definitely definitely going to come here to try it out and i cannot wait and i know you guys are going to do well um i down the down the road a little bit massapequa so it's not too far from me we'll be here for sure and i want to say good luck thank you to the chamber of commerce and to the whole farmingdale community and good luck to you guys thank, thank you, you very much, much. Two more quick presentations before we head inside. I mentioned him earlier, representing the town board in the town of Oyster Bay is Councilman Tom Hand. On behalf of uh, Supervisor Saladino and the town board, I'd like to present the citation to you. And on a personal note, I've been to Philadelphia often, and you guys rival Geno's as Philadelphia. Yeah. 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 And last but certainly not least, the backbone of every downtown is the Chamber of Commerce. And this Chamber of Commerce, everybody agrees, is the best of the best. Representing the Chamber of Commerce is a good friend, an awesome business leader, and an all-around rah-rah kind of guy for business <laughs> in our downtown. And that's Chamber of Commerce President Joe Garcia. Yes, Joe! I should say welcome, but I feel like I'm, uh, I live here now. Um, welcome to Farmingdale, officially. I think it's so apt that you guys have opened up next to what was once a, another food truck, uh, Rolling Spring Roll, and I think it's exactly what I see Farmingdale becoming for the business community, is a incubator for small business. Small business is the backbone of Long Island. We can never forget that. To be able to move from a food truck to a location, hopefully end up with 12 of them and many more after that. Um, thanks so much for being part of Farmingdale. Thanks so much for redeveloping a store that probably needed it. And uh, if there's anything the Chamber could do, just let us know. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for Darren, Michael, Evan, and Ginny. Thank you very much. Awesome. Thank you very much.